Hello, and welcome to the Mostly Mike Show. Today I'm going to do a review that could change your life forever. Unless it doesn't. Have you ever wished that you could move your extension ladder with a bicycle? The kind folks at Level Lock sent me one of their ladder dollies, which I'm going to show you what comes in the box, how to assemble it, and how it can make your life a little easier. At least from a ladder transporter's perspective. Now you might be wondering, what's a ladder dolly? Well, it's basically a landing gear that easily attaches to your ladder, turning it into a functional transport vessel to get your tools and materials to the job site with minimal strain to your back and shoulders. I'll be sure to include Amazon links below, which by clicking these links it helps this channel improve future content at zero cost to you. Let's see what's in the box. We have some paperwork which includes instructions for how to assemble the ladder dolly, as well as the preferred method to attach it to your favorite ladder. There's a chassis with the canvas bag nestled inside holding two wheels that need to be installed. There's a multitude of tools that you can use to put these wheels on. Now I don't like to play favorites, so we drew straws. I'll use a couple different tools and show some honorable mentions in the group photo. I'll admit, the quarter inch drive ratchet stepped up to a half inch drive 15 16 socket might be a little on the ridiculous side, but the point I'm trying to get at is that you don't need to apply 2 million foot pounds to the axle nuts. These nuts just need to be snug to the point where there's no side to side movement. Over tightening can damage the wheel bearings. Repeat on the passenger side. And right there it looks pretty good. Now let's take a second to gawk at the assembled product. The Level Lock Ladder Dolly is built really solid while being lightweight and relatively compact. It folds up for easy storage. The tires are airless and maintenance free. The frame is a mixture of aluminum, steel and a machine composite looking material. The part that locks the ladder to the dolly caught my attention with this ingenious spring detent design that uses a small cam follower in a slot and utilizes the elasticity of the material itself in lieu of an actual spring. I tend to be impressed by the simplest things, but that's just how I am. All right, let's go find a ladder and take this thing for a spin. Attaching the ladder dolly to your ladder is a snap, literally. Just lay your ladder flat, it doesn't matter if it's heads or tails. Hook to any rung, latch it on both sides. Flip the whole thing over and you're off to the races. You can attach it to its balancing point or you can get creative and put it wherever you want. I won't judge you one bit. The dolly performed well on my 20 foot fiberglass extension ladder. At no fault of the dolly itself, it gave me some gentle reminders that I needed to roll my lawn. The level lock ladder dolly made the ladder so easy to move that I just had to see if I could tow it with my nuke proof scout. Hold my beer. Use discretion if you decide to try this at home. As usual, the Mostly Mike show accepts no responsibilities for any injuries or capital loss experienced by assimilating the shenanigans in my videos. I nearly forgot, but this dolly also works on step ladders. Just lay your step ladder on the ground, steps facing upwards. You need to orient the dolly so the hooks face the front pads of the step ladder, and you don't use the latches. You then carefully flip the ladder over and push it to its destination. Although the instructions say push, don't pull when using it on step ladders, I was feeling a little daredevilish and decided to give it a try. After all, I look death in the face every single day. I don't know, it seemed to work. Again, if you're feeling froggy and try this at home, do this at your own risk, and then tell the story in the comments below. I can't wait to hear about it. 
I hope that you enjoyed this review and got a few laughs out of it. If you did, how about clicking that thumbs up button and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation and I'll see you next time.